Hey guys, we're here at Gateway Classics. And you know, they have some of the most beautiful cars that's out there, you know, from the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, 80s, 90s. Hey, they even go back into the 30s, the 20s, and the 40s with some of these cars, man. I mean, you find some really beautiful vehicles here at Gateway. Let's take a look at some. Okay guys, hey, I found a nice, very clean 55 Chevy Bel Air. Oh, you'll love this one, man. This one stands out. Really clean, beautiful car. Let's take a look at it. Look at that paint. Look at that high gloss shine off this car. This 55 with the chrome. Oh my God, got the airplane on there shining. I mean, you can't beat this, man. Look at that. Look at those rims on this car. Going down the fuselage, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Bel Air 56 Chevy. We're gonna take our time with this one. Look at that trunk. I mean, that thing is perfect. Let's go back around and get another look at this thing. Look at the chrome on the bumpers. Look at the tips. Rectangular exhaust tips. Isn't it nice? I mean, you can't beat that, man. That's what it's all about when you do these cars up, man. You want to make them look really good. Better than what they were at the factory. Look at that trunk. That back one going right into the car. Let's look, take a closer look. Look at that. Not one speck of dirt, not one little chip of rust, nothing. This car is that clean, that beautiful. How you gonna beat this? You know, beautiful, beautiful. As we're looking into this car with the split bench, I mean, this is perfect. On this, from this driver's side, as we're looking at the interior, you can't beat this, man. There are probably some other cars out there, show cars that could beat this one, but I'm gonna tell you something, this thing is clean, very, very clean. Very beautiful. Automatic. Look at that steering wheel, man. Look at the dash. Got some fuzzy dice in there. Look at the headliner, y'all. See the trim? That's from the driver's side. We're gonna look at the passenger side now. As we look at this beautiful 56 Chevy from the driver's side, I mean the passenger side, I mean, you don't find any nicks, any chips, nowhere. This car is so beautiful, man. Look at this car. All the chrome that you guys asked for, the paint is perfect. The trim is perfect. Rims stand out on this car. Look at that. Look at that trim. Look at the trim on the door. Going down, going down the side of the fuselage. Look at that. Let's go back here. Look at that. See that chrome? You can't beat that, man. You can't beat that. As you all get here in the background, they done fired up something. Oh, somebody had a Ford Cobra in here. That's what you hear in the background. I saw it when I came in here. A beautiful car it was. Look at the back end of this Chevy though. We're doing this Chevy up first. Let's look at the roof on this thing. Whoever did this paint job, put this fresh paint job on here, they knew what they were doing, man. They must have done plenty of these cars before.
That trim is so beautiful. Let's look at the interior from the passenger side. And another interior, two-tone, just like the car. You can't beat that. It's like cherry and cream, this car. Cherries and cream. That's exactly what this car is like. You won't find them better than this, man. Not like they got here at Gateway Classic Cars, man. I'm telling you, you want this car? Come to Gateway Classic Car here in Crete, Illinois. That's where it's at, Crete, Illinois. This is a beautiful car, man. A very, very beautiful car. Right here, Crete, Illinois. Okay, guys, hey, look, I found a GTO. A really nice Pontiac GTO. Yeah, another goat, but this one's clean and it's beautiful. Let's take a look at it. Okay, guys, here we go. It's a 1965 Pontiac GTO with a 389 Tri Power V8. It's a four speed in this thing, burgundy on white. This is a clean, bad mamma jamma right here. This thing is beautiful, man. Look at this car. When General Motors Pontiac was pumping these things out, they even some big, mean cars, man. That tri power mean they got three dual or three two barrel carburetors stacked in front of one another. And then when that thing opened up, all barrels sucked in air and gas. Looking at the back of this thing, it's very clean, very clean. Clean goat. Or as they say, GTO, God takes over. Yeah, this thing's clean, man. Look at the back of the trunk. We're gonna look at the trunk first. All the lines, all the gaps, are exactly the way they're supposed to be. Right there. When you find a GTO, you always look for that. That true Pontiac symbol. I wouldn't buy one rebuilt. I don't care what they've done to it without seeing some type of Pontiac emblems on this thing. Right there, down there, up there. A true goat, a true Pontiac production car. Look at that burgundy paint, man. Look at those rims on there. GTO 6.5 liter. Look at that trim down there. 6.5 liter. Let's trim down here. Let's get back up to this door. All the trim up on the door going across the roof. Let's take a good quick look up the roof. See how nice and clean it is? If this was a restoration, whoever did it, did it right. This thing is bad. With the vinyl top going all the way across there, man. The glass is perfect, you know. I know you see that. That big old knob sticking out of there, look at that. This is how they did it back then, bucket seats. Pontiac, built for excitement. And all the way across there, look at that. Stick shift, four speed, man, this thing is clean. Take a look at the dash. See that dash? Nothing wrong, no cracks, nothing that you can see. That thing is beautiful. Oh yeah, you can't beat this, man. From the driver's side, we can see how the seat belts were back in the day. Straight across compared to what we have now, with the straight across the chest, the chest, excuse me, and your lap. You know, almost that harness, but not a complete harness. So we can see, you know, how things were done back in the day. 
these GTOs, you basically didn't care about anybody in the back seat because if you didn't have to, you didn't have to put nobody back there. It was you and whoever else wanted to get in the front seat for this guy to take over power. You know, this car is beautiful, man. This is beautiful. You can see the pedals down there. Clutch, brake, gas, emergency brake. <laughs> you know, these one automatic windows, you had to roll them down. Who could ever forget about building up your arms, rolling down windows and rolling them up? <laughs> I ain't forget. Look at that. The headliner. It's clean in there, man. The headliner is clean. Because this is a clean, beautiful car, man. Here at Gateway Classics. Can't beat this one. It's a good one. Okay, you Mustang fans. I just found a Terminator. You got it with a 32 valve 289 V8. You know how hard it is to find these things, but guess what? This one only has 5,600 miles, 56 actual 100 miles on it. It's yellow with black trim. You walk down the side here, taking a good look. You see it down here, the Mach 1 sign. Everybody who had one of these told me wonderful stories about these terminators i just never could understand why they always got rid of them basically they were updating them for newer mustangs and they had something to trade in you know but are you going to find one with 56 actual 100 miles on here this this car is still broke somewhat brand new we take a look here on the inside this interior is very clean guys very very clean and it's a five-speed ceramic transmission. Yeah, this thing's bad to the bone. Take a good look at this thing, man. Look at it, how the yellow stands out with this black trim. People see this car coming, you see it from down the road, lemon yellow sun type of car. You say to yourself, what is that? Well, it's a Mach 1. That's what it is. And I'm not finding any scratches, dings, or dents, any type of mix on this car. This car was garage kept, and it was well kept. This is a beautiful one. And it's Ford Pony Boy, I remember I had my Mustang. It didn't have that no nick or scratch on it, just like this. Except my mileage was higher as I drove it. Now this car is bad. This is a real bad to the bone type of Yeah, this is a beautiful one here, here at Gateway Cars. Gateway Classic Cars, you cannot beat that. These got some good looking cars. Really nice, well kept cars. Cars that you could buy and not really lose much value. I mean, you can't beat that. Most of these hot, most of these hot rod classic cars hold their value to them. And they hold them. You can always buy one, keep it a few years and sell it, and get your money back and go buy something else. But you could definitely find them here at Gateway Classic Cars. Give them a call. Look them up on the internet. Mach 1, y'all. Terminator. Look at that shaker wheel. Let's get a good look at that shaker wheel. It's really nice. Shake, 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 not worry about hitting anything. We love that. 